This week has been history in the making as youth took the first stage with fitting and showmanship and dairy cattle judging competitions. Expo's renowned trade show returned to feature the latest technology and advancements available to the global dairy industry. The new trade center and the tan bar created enhanced spaces for networking. Educational programming was offered by leading experts. And right here on the colored shavings, the finest dairy cattle in North America were judged with care. With the breed competitions now complete, we begin our final event of World Dairy Expo, the majestic Parade of Champions. As the leading performers in today's ceremony, our leads people will not be wearing masks for this pageant. Those enjoying the show from the stands are still asked to continue wearing their face coverings. Tonight's program will begin by celebrating the 2020 World Dairy Expo Recognition Award honorees. We will then name the winner of the prestigious A.C. Whitey Thompson Memorial Award and will culminate with the naming of the Supreme Champions of World Dairy Expo in both the Junior and Open Dairy Cattle Shows. Before we begin, please rise and remove your hats as Dave Adler and the Dairy Tones perform the Canadian and American National Anthems. Thank you for those beautiful renditions and the music throughout the evening. We proudly salute all nations participating in World Dairy Expo. It is my honor to start today's program by recognizing the distinguished recipients of the 2020 Expo Recognition Awards. These industry leaders were nominated and selected by their peers for the truly instrumental con contributions they have made to the global dairy industry, their local communities, and the workforce. 
this time, we would like to honor the 2020 Dairy Producers of the Year, the team behind Milk Source LLC, Jim Ostrom, John Vosters, and Todd Willer from Kakana, Wisconsin. Joining us this evening to receive the award is John. Let's give them all a big round of applause. As Jim and John make their way to the awards area for the photos, I'm pleased to also recognize our 2020 Industry People of the Year, Steve Eaker from King Ferry, New York, and Connor Jamison of Tulare, California, the founders of Valley Agricultural Software. The 2020 International Person of the Year is Wilhelm Pond from Garnward, Groningen, the Netherlands, with the Eurus Group. Please be, give a big round of applause for our two, 2020 World Dairy Expo Recognition Award winners who are truly instrumental to the industry. Each year, the cattle at World Dairy Expo are cared for by some of the world's finest herdsmen. We'd like to recognize one of those individuals at this time with the A.C. Whitey Thompson Memorial Award. This prestigious award is presented to the World Dairy Expo herds person who has set an outstanding example for others possessing the assets of leadership, hard work, and sportsmanship at Expo. This year's winner will join an outstanding group of individuals who exemplify what sportsmanship is all about in the Dairy Cattle Show. I'd like to invite Bill Hageman, president of the Expo Board of Directors, to assist with the presentation. As you may expect, the winner of this award possesses the same leadership and sportsmanship that Whitey Thompson was known for. The 2021 honoree has a degree in marketing and farms with family, including parents, siblings, and children. The family farm consists of over 2,000 acres and more than 1,200 head of cattle. This farm started showing in 1980 at the local level and brought their first full string to World Dairy Expo in 2008. That year they had a class winner and three others that stood in the top four. I'd say that was a pretty impressive first trip to World Dairy Expo. The family farm was a top five finisher in Holstein International's most influential breeders of the last 25 years. This individual and her family shows winners resulting in both premier exhibitor and breeder banners. They show champions, in fact, bred and owned champions on multiple occasions at World Dairy Expo grand champions at the Royal and World Dairy Expo. The all-Canadian, all-American accolades are numerous and the respect of their peers is immense. They have successfully marketed cattle and embryos around the world and recently had a sale that averaged just short of $13,000 with three females selling for over $200,000 each. The winner of the A.C. Whitey Thompson Award travels over a thousand miles one way to show at World Dairy Expo in Madison. This winner has incredible passion for the industry. She is a leader, a visionary, and is humble in victory and gracious in defeat. Our award winner hails from Cap Santé, Quebec, Canada, and it gives me great pleasure to introduce our 2021 A.C. Whitey Thompson recipient, Isabel Jacobs.
How about another round of applause for Isabel? Now is the time you've all been waiting for, the introduction of our breed champions and the selection of this year's World Dairy Expo Supreme Champions of both the Junior and Open Shows. But first, we must recognize the eight breed show judges that have evaluated these animals prior to today's parade of champions. Our Ayrshire judge, Michael Creek. Our Brown Swiss judge, Lynn Harbaugh. Guernseys were placed by Molly Sloan. The judge of the International Holstein Show was Mike Berry. Serving as our official Jer Jersey judge was Chad Ryan. Our Melking Shorthorn judge was Dean Dole. Red and whites were placed by Pierre Boulet. And our Junior Holstein judge was Brandon Berry. Assisting the lead judges was a top-notch group of associate judges as well. Thank you to all. Starting the 2021 Parade of Champions is the junior champion of the International Junior Ayrshire Show, Wingert's Big Time Journey, exhibited by Avery Kalarjik and Eva Gilmore of Bradenton, Florida. Earlier this year, Journey took home the first place spring heifer calf and supreme heifer titles at the South Florida Fair and the second place spring yearling heifer at the Wisconsin Ayrshire Show. On the halter of Journey this afternoon is Eva Gilmore. Eva is celebrating her first year showing at World Dairy Expo with a junior champion win and is thankful for all her friends and family who have helped her get to where she is today. Eva is a freshman at Parrish Community High School in Bradenton, Florida. She plans to attend the University of Florida to study veterinary medicine to continue fostering her love for animals. Next in the show ring is Mackinson Gentle Dreams, exhibited by Ava and Eli Faber. Dreams had an exciting 2021 be named junior champion of the Livingston County Ag Fair in Illinois, junior and supreme champion at the Champaign County Fair, and junior champion of the junior and open shows at the Illinois State Fair. Her dam, Mackinson Ob Oblique Darcy, Excellent 91, was a 2011 Reserve All-American Spring Calf, 2012 Junior All-American Spring Yearling, and 2013 Reserve Junior All-American Junior Two-Year-Old. Gentle Dreams, affectionately known as 810, is also a potential 10th generation excellent. Working all year with her dairy and beef calves at Mackinson Dairy Farm, Ava and Eli are proud to be the sixth generation on the dairy and grain farming operations in Pontiac, Illinois. Joining us in the show ring next is the grand champion of the International Junior Ayrshire Show, Top Glen Wishful Thinking ET, exhibited by Tanner, Brennan, Logan, and Marissa Top of West Salem, Ohio. Earlier this year, Wish Wishful Thinking was named Supreme Champion of the Ohio Spring Dairy Expo Junior Show and has a history of doing well here on the colored shavings. Wishful Thinking is currently max scored at excellent 94.3E and her lifetime milk production sits at just under 127,000 pounds with approximately 4,000 pounds fat and just over 3,000 pounds protein. Leading Wishful Thinking is Marissa Topp a student at the Ohio State University Agricultural Technical Institute. Just this week, she competed in the International Post-Secondary Dairy Judging Contest, where she was the fifth high individual. <clears throat> Completing our group of Ayrshires is the grand champion of the International Ayrshire Show, Merrily Gentleman, Carmina, the senior champion and winner of the six-year-old and over class. Carmina is exhibited by Bud John Farms and Peter and Lynn Vale of Lomira, Wisconsin. No stranger to the show ring, the excellent 94-point cow was reserve grand champion 
at the 2021 Wisconsin State Airshow Show and grand champion in 2020. Carmina was selected as reserve grand champion here in 2018 and 2019. Additionally, she was named grand champion at the Royal Agricultural Winter Fair in 2016 and 2018. Carmina was previously owned by the late Mike Hellenbrand and her owners are honored to have been in business partners and friends with him. They acknowledge Mike as an ambassador for all colored breeds and know that he was watching down from above as Carmina was selected as grand champion. Please put our hands together and your hands together for our Ayrshire champions. <laughs> Leading the brown Swiss breed into the spotlight is our first dual champion. She is Pit Crew Formula Tawny, the brown Swiss junior champion of both the junior and open shows, and it is escorted by Abby Foss of Cambridge, Minnesota. Tawny, the great-granddaughter of a former World Dairy Expo grand champion, champion, Sunny Isle Colby Twilight, has had a successful year in the show ring. Tawny received honors as the first place winter yearling and junior champion of both the Minnesota State Fair and Minnesota State Show before coming to Madison. On the halter is Abby Foss, a sophomore studying animal science at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities. Abby has many accomplishments of her own, being a five-time champion showman at the Minnesota State Fair 4-H show, co-valedictorian of her 2020 graduating class, captain of her swim team, and a 2021 Klusendorf scholarship recipient. Abby leases Tawny from Pit Crew Genetics, the 2019 and 2021 premier exhibitor and 2021 premier breeder of the Heifer Show at World Dairy Expo. Pit crew includes the families of Julie Connard, Paul and Sarah Trapp, Eric and Kyle Sonic, and Tom and Julie Foss. Parading into the ring next is the international junior Brown Swiss show grand champion, Random Luck B.T. Rose, who was bred and owned and exhibited by Matthew and Allison Thompson of Darlington, Wisconsin. T. Rose started out her World Dairy Expo week by winning the component merit class and being named senior champion before her declaration as grand champion. In 2019, she was the second place age cow at the International Brown Swiss Show. T. Rose is currently classified at excellent 95. Matthew is following in the footsteps of Hayden Hawshield who won the grand champion title in 2010 with Random Luck KB Louise. Matthew's family at Random Luck has bred two 94-point cows and one 95-point cow within their brown Swiss herd. Having also exhibited the senior champion and total performance winner of World Dairy Expo in 2019. Our next champion making their way to the colored shavings is Cutting Edge Thunder Fay, the winning aged cow, six year old and older, and the Brown Swiss Grand Champion. Fay, exhibited by Ken Main and Kenny Jo Mannion of Copac, New York, is classified excellent 95 and has an impressive record attesting to her blue ribbon background. She was bred by the 2021 <coughs> McCown Master Breeder, Ken Main, Peter Vale, and the Cutting Edge team. In addition to her success at World Dairy Expo, Faye was named the 2020 Grand Champion at the National Southwest Brown Swiss Show as an All-American aged cow, 2019 Reserve Grand Champion at World Dairy Expo as an All-American five-year-old, and various other All-American accolades. Faye's full brother, Cutting Edge T Foremost, sired the Reserve Grand Champion of the Brown Swiss Show on Thursday, Cutting Edge F. Pharaoh. Ken Main and Kenny Jo Mannion would like to extend a special thank you to today's lead person, Carly Kuhn. Kooner and everyone involved in the success they have had this year. Please join me in congratulating our Brown Swiss champions as we welcome them back to the colored shavings. <laughs> 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 
leading the way for the Guernseys is Warwick Manor Ernie Jacy, the winning fall yearling heifer, exhibited by Colby and Carly Stolfus of East Rural, Pennsylvania. Before being tapped as junior champion of the International Junior Guernsey Show, JC was junior champion of the Premier National Junior Show, reserve junior champion of the Golden Guernsey Showcase Junior Show, and honorable mention junior champion at the All-American Dairy Show. Colby Stolfus attends Garden Spot High School in New Holland, Pennsylvania, where he is the team captain on the lacrosse team, vice president of the Grassland FFA chapter, and received the Star Farmer Award within his chapter. Colby would like to thank his parents for their love and support and his great-grandparents for establishing Warwick Manor Farm in 1947. Thurston Farm Popeye Addison is next to enter the ring. The winning fall yearling heifer was named junior champion during the 2021 International Guernsey Show and is exhibited by Howakers and Millbridge of Mer Meridian, New Hampshire and Turnbridge, Vermont. Addison was previously named junior champion at the New Hampshire State Show, reserve junior champion at, at the Turnbridge World's Fair and first place fall yearling heifer at the New York Spring Show in 2021. <clears throat> the Guernsey Junior Champions fourth dam, Cedar Fringe Atlin Excellent 95, was named grand champion of the International Guernsey Show in 2000. Addison's owners would like to extend a, th a special thank you to the Tigerson family for her care, Rachel and Abby Rowlin for finding and developing her, and Shannon and Chris for supporting their passion. Coming in next is the International Junior Guernsey Show Grand Champion, Dixie Lee, Method Guernsey. Journey, my bad. <laughs> Bred by Stephen Keith Dixon and shown by Whitney Urena of Phillipsburg, Missouri. Journey had a successful day at World Dairy Expo, starting off by winning the junior three-year-old class and earning intermediate champion of the junior and open portions of the International Guernsey Show. Journey's 2021 success didn't start this week, though. She was supreme champion at the Missouri State Fair and reserve grand champion at the, at the Ozark Empire Fair. Dixie Lee Method Journey is currently scored excellent 90 and has had two calves. On the halter is Whitney, Whitney Urena. She is a 2021 champion youth dairy cattle judge and showman at the Missouri State Fair. She was also first place intermediate showman at the North American International Livestock Exhibition in 2020. Whitney is also the current president for her school's FFA chapter and says that one of her favorite Expo memories is when another cow she bred and owned was named Reserve Grand Champion of the International Junior Guernsey Show in 2014 and 2015. Joining us in the show ring next is Valley Gem Atlas Malt ET exhibited by Valley Gem Farm and led this afternoon by Kim Grew of Cumberland, Wisconsin. Malt won the six-year-old and older cow class and was tapped senior champion prior to being named grand champion of the International Guernsey Show. Last year, Malt was the supreme champion at the North American Livestock Exposition in Louisville, Kentucky, and was unanimous all-American five-year-old cow. Additionally, the American Guernsey Association honored Malt as the total performance winner in 2020. In 2019, Malt was named Grand Champion at numerous shows, including World Dairy Expo, the Minnesota State Fair, and the Wisconsin State Guernsey Show. She was the Supreme Champion at the 2019 Minnesota State Fair and was named as the unanimous All-American four-year-old cow. The family is very thankful for the chance to be at World Dairy Expo in 2021. They attribute their success to their family and friends that have enabled them the opportunity to grace the show ring. 
Kim says that this year will forever hold a special memory in her heart because they get to share it with their daughter, Bryn, and they are so thankful she is able to be here with them today. As they find their place in line, please join me in welcoming our, great, our Guernsey champions back into the show ring. Now entering the show ring is the winning summer yearling and junior champion of the International Junior Holstein Show, Jeffrey Way Dorman Tabor ET, shown by Emma Hendrickson. Earlier this year, Tabor was awarded the reserve junior champion of the District 6 Junior Show and the junior champion and reserve supreme heifer at the Wisconsin Junior State Fair and the reserve junior champion at the Junior Wisconsin State Championship Show. Tabor comes from a long line of excellent and very good homebred cows from the famous Jeffrey Way T family. Emma's favorite show ring memory happened earlier this week when Tabor was tapped as junior champion of the International Junior Holstein Show. Outside of the show ring, Emma is active in FFA and volleyball at her high school. Let's welcome Emma and Tabor back to the colored shavings. Our next candidate is the junior champion of the International Holstein Show, Ms. Reba's Raven Beauty ET, exhibited by Glamour View, Jaeger and Walton of Walkersville, Maryland. Prior to her trip around the colored shavings this week, Beauty was the junior champion of the Wisconsin Junior State Fair and the reserve junior champion of the Midwest Spring Show. Glamour View, Jaeger and Walton have, has spent many hours on the colored shavings at World Dairy Expo exhibiting numerous class winners and champions over the years. Glamour View is a family-run farm that recently started producing their own dairy products, complete with a storefront, the Dairy Bar at Glamour View. <clears throat> Grand champion of the International Junior Holstein Show went to Tuskview Avalanche Cali ET, shown by Isaac Foltz of North Collins, New York. Cali captured first place in the four-year-old class on Tuesday, but this is not her first expo appearance. In 2017, she placed 10th in the fall calf class at the International Junior Holstein Show. Earlier this year, she was also grand champion at the Western New York Regional Show in Hamburg, New York. Currently, she has scored excellent 94 with a 96-point mammary system. On the halter of Cali is Isaac Foltz, an honor student and a goalie for his travel ice hockey team. Foltz serves on an executive committee for the New York Junior Holstein Association and placed second in the intermediate division of the Youth Showmanship Contest at this year's World Dairy Expo. Foltz says it is a dream come true to have developed Cali to this point. Now entering the show ring is our newest grand champion and the Holstein breed's newest excellent 94 2 e cow, Urbaker's Snapple Shakira ET, exhibited by Ferm Jacobs, Ty D. Holsteins, Tolaza, and Telemarsha of Capsanti, Quebec, Canada. Shakira is no stranger to World Dairy Expo. She captured intermediate champion in 2018 as the first place junior three-year-old cow. Her success is international. This year, she was grand champion at Le Supreme Litsu. Fam Jacobs is a nine-time premier breeder at World Dairy Expo and a two-time premier exhibitor on the colored shavings. They have exhibited numerous grand champion bred and owned cows at World Dairy Expo and grand champions at Expo and the Royal. The impact of Ferm Jacobs on the Holstein breed can be seen in their top five finish in Holstein International's most influential breeders of the last 25 years. Please put your hands together for our Holstein champions.
leading our group of jersey champions is the junior champion of the International Junior Jersey Show, Besley Kingsdale VIP DeLorean ET, exhibit, exhibited by Kenley Phillips of Lingleville, Texas. Before she was crowned junior champion, DeLorean was awarded first prize winter calf on Tuesday's show. Her dam, Crossbrook Magic Jeannie Darcy, is the 2018 Reserve All-Canadian Milking Yearling. Leading DeLorean this afternoon is Kinley Phillips. Kenley started showing dairy cattle at nine years old. She partnered with her sister Allison on Dubois Fever Piranha ET and won the junior champion female title of the International Holstein Show in 2016. Kenley attends Stephenville High School and is involved with the Stevensville FFA chapter. Entering the show ring now is Feeps Kid Rock Jaden, the winning summer yearling heifer and junior champion of the International Jersey Show, exhibited by Viera Dairy Farm of Hillmar, California. Before her World Dairy Expo debut, Jaden won her class and went on to be named junior champion at the 2021 Jersey event in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Viera Dairy Farm was named premier exhibitor at the World Dairy Expo International Jersey Show, not only this year, but in 2019 as well. Let's give it up for the International Jersey Show junior champion, Sweets Kid Rock Jaden. Parading in next is Home Ridge, Tianette, the intermediate and grand champion and winning senior three-year-old, exhibited by Kylie and Dawson Nichols, Travis Friesen, Mandy Sells, and Scott Stanford. Annette is no stranger to the show ring. She was reserve intermediate and reserve grand champion of the junior show at this year's Wisconsin State Show. Additionally, she was nominated All-American in 2018 and was nominated Junior All-American in 2018 and 2019. Leading Annette today is Kylie Nichols, a two-time Supreme Dairy Showman at the Wisconsin Junior State Fair and our newly named 2021 Merle Howard Award winner. <laughs> Nichols has also been successful outside the show ring as well as claiming high individual at the 2018 National 4-H Dairy Judging Contest. Annette's owners would like to thank Tom and Kelly Call for their daily care of Annette and anyone else that has played a role in their success. Making her way in the show ring next is our returning grand champion of the International Jersey Show, Freeland Valson Spritz, exhibited by Viera Farm of Hillmar, California. Before being named grand champion for the second expo in a row, Spritz earned top honors in the six-year-old and older cow class, as well as being named senior champion. Spritz was also named as the 2021 Jersey event grand champion in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. She was awarded All-American and All-Canadian five-year-old honors in 2019. Spritz was nominated All-American in 2018 and was Reserve All-American Junior Three-Year-Old in 2017. Viera Dairy Farm was named Premier Exhibitor at World Dairy Expo in 2019 and 2021. Let's welcome the International Jersey Show Grand Champion, Breland Valson Spritz. Please put your hands together for all of our Jersey champions. Next to enter the show ring is Monisha Creek Easy on the Eyes EXP, exhibited by Ashley Brandle of Lake Mills, Wisconsin. Easy on the Eyes is being led by Bryn Emery today, prior to her first place winner yearling heifer and junior champion of the International Junior Milking Shorthorn Show wins. She was named junior champion of the Midwest Quality of Color Show and reserve junior champion of the National Milking Shorthorn Sh Junior Show in 2021. 
Ashley attends, uh, extends a heartfelt thank you to Manisha Creek Farms, Mena Schmidt, and Cindy Barr for the opportunity to work with their deep pedigreed milking shorthorns. Their guidance and support have been influential in defining Ashley's breeding goals. Monisha Creek is home to 15 junior All-Americans. She is grateful and proud to be a part of the Red, White, and Roan community. Junior champion of the International Milking Shorthorn Show is Valley View Fires Ash EXP. Owned by Mike and Colton Gregory, Michelle Upchurch, and Scott Wolf. Ash's accolades this year include first place summer yearling, an honorable mention of the Midwest Quality Color Spring Show, and first place summer yearling and res reserve junior champion of the Wisconsin State Show. The team members behind Ash's success each have their own accomplishments besides this junior champion win. These accomplishments include the Milking Shorthorn Junior Champion and Reserve Junior Champion at Expo in 2019, Grand Champion Milking Shorthorn at the North American Livestock Exposition in 2020, and most recently receiving Honorable Mention Senior Champion and Premier Breeder of the Heifer Show earlier this week. Joining us in the show ring is our second dual champion, Maple Fudge of 12 Oaks, excellent 94 2E, the winning lifetime merit cow of the International Milking Shorthorn Show and International Junior Milking Shorthorn Show. Exhibited by Colton and Ashley Brandle of Lake Mills, Wisconsin, Fudge was an, has an extensive list of show ring accomplishments now including four grand champion titles in the International Junior Melting Shorthorn Show, two grand champion titles in the International Melting Shorthorn Show, grand champion of the 2020 Midwest Regional Melting Shorthorn Junior Show, and supreme champion of the 2018 and 2021 Wisconsin State Open Dairy Show. She recently received the All American Melking Shorthorn Society Total Performance Award in 2021. Leading fudge in the Parade of Champions is Ashley Brandle. Ashley is a student at Lake Mills High School and currently serves as the Lake Mills FFA Sentinel. She was recognized as an American Melking Shorthorn Society Junior Progressive Breeder, National Junior Holstein Distinguished Junior Member Finalist, and Wisconsin Junior Holstein Young Distinguished Junior Member. Ashley would like to thank Hildebrandt Family Farms for their exceptional daily care, attention to detail, and talents and guidance in developing fudge. Brandel extends a thank you to her dad, oldest brother, and everyone at their home farm, Strausdale Holsteins, for taking care of chores so she and the team here can attend World Dairy Expo. Lastly, she is extremely grateful for her family and friends and breeders who have made the village that surrounds Fudge so special. Let's welcome back our Melking Shorthorn champions to the show ring. It's time to meet our final group of champions. Making her entrance in the show ring, another dual junior champion, Dorloy K. Guinness Red E.T., shown by Kenley Phillips of Lingleville, Texas. Guinness, the winning winter heifer calf in the International Red and White Show and International Junior Red and White Show, also captured reserve junior champion honors of the Mideast Summer National Red and White Show earlier this year. She is sired by Mr. Blondin Warrior Red E.T., and her dam is Ms. Tri Tobel Glamour Red E.T., Let's welcome again our red and white junior champion of both the Open and Junior shows, Dorloy K. Guinness Red E.T. Next on the colored shavings is this year's grand champion of the International Junior Red and White Show. She is Scenic Edge, Jordan Red, the winning junior three-year-old cow and intermediate champion. Exhibited by JCN Hadley Ross of Arizona, 
Jordan has currently scored excellent 92 and is producing a test of 4-2 fat and 3-0 protein. In 2019, Jordan was junior champion at the Royal Agricultural Winter Fair as a summer yearling heifer. Arizona Dairy Company, JC and Hadley Ross were also honored as the premier exhibitor at this year's show. The duo would like to give a big shout out to Maple Lay for taking care of their animals and getting Jordan to look her best on show day. Once again, let's welcome Scenic Edge Jordan Red to the show ring. And finally, our last grand champion of this week, Antia Absolute Jolene Red, exhibited by Milk Source and Lori Fisher of Kakana, Wisconsin. Jolene has had prior su success on the Tanbark Trail, claiming grand champion titles at the last three Wisconsin State Red and White shows and the 2018 Royal Agricultural Winter, Winter Fair. Milk Source is no stranger to this spotlight moment at World Dairy Expo. In recent years, they have exhibited eight grand champions across three breeds, two reserve supreme champions, and two supreme champions. Join me in congratulating our final group of champions. Let's have a round of applause once more for these outstanding animals and those who have presented them this evening. Nice cover. <laughs> As we prepare to announce our winners, I'd like to recognize our generous Supreme Ceremony sponsoring companies who have representatives seated at ringside tonight. Our sponsors will be joining us for the photos once our champions are announced at the end of the program. A royal blanket will be placed on the Supreme Champion, courtesy of AgPro Incorporated. Ameriprint Apparel LLC will be presenting the royal blanket for the Reserve Supreme Champion of the Junior Show. Each of tonight's open show grand champions are wearing special embroidered sashes, courtesy of Arethusa Farm. Bomatic will be awarding a cash award to the Supreme Champion of the Junior and Open Shows. We extend a special thank you to Duane T. Cole DDS for providing the specially embroidered sashes that each Junior Show Junior Champion is wearing. Ebert Enterprises LLC will be presenting the Royal Banner to the Reserve Supreme Champion Heifer of the Junior Show. The Reserve Supreme Champion will be wearing a Royal Blanket courtesy of Easy Milking Equipment, LLC. Frenchville Trailer Sales, LLC, will be presenting a 20-foot livestock trailer to the Supreme Champion of the Junior Show for their use throughout the next year. Golden Calf Company will be generously providing cash awards to the Champion Heifers of the Junior Show, as well as to the Reserve Supreme Champion, along with a royal banner. International Protein Sires will present a director's chair to both of our Supreme Champion cows this evening. The Junior Show Grand Champions are each wearing a special embroidered sash courtesy of New Holland. A royal banner will be presented to the Supreme Champion heifer of the Junior Show courtesy of Scott and Nikki Culbertson. The royal blanket that will adorn the Supreme Champion of the Junior Show is presented by Select Sires Incorporated. Tile Dairy Video Sales presents the champion sash that each of our junior champions is wearing, as well as director's chairs to the Reserve Supreme Champion and Reserve Supreme Champion of the Junior Show. Transova Genetics will be awarding cash awards to Reserve Supreme Champion and Supreme Champion Heifer, as well as a royal banner to the Supreme Champion Heifer. Utter Comfort Incorporated has generously provided a cash award to the Reserve Supreme Champion of the Junior Show. Let's show our appreciation for these generous sponsors. <laughs> there is one more group of people that we need to thank before we name our champions, and that is the World Dairy Expo staff. 
Without their dedication and commitment to the Expo for the past two years, this past week would not have been possible. Please join me in a round of applause for the Expo staff. Now that these instrumental dairy partners have been introduced, I would also like to welcome Bill Hageman back to the awards area to again help with the presentation. We have one last person to welcome to the show ring, Wisconsin's 74th Alice in Dairyland, Julia Nunez. Alice, it's now time. Please deliver the envelope with the results. Thank you, Julia. That's a long walk. In addition to the awards donated by our generous sponsors, each of our champions will also receive special awards in memory of late instrumental leaders of World Dairy Expo. The Supreme Champion Heifer of the Junior Show will receive the inaugural Mike Hellenbrand Memorial Trophy. Hellenbrand served on the World Dairy Expo Executive Committee and Board of Directors while making an impact on the dairy industry by breeding and developing elite show heifers of all breeds. And with his faithful support of junior exhibitors by providing opportunities to lease or purchase calves and heifers through Hillpoint Partners. This award is presented by Michael's wife, Linda Hellenbrand. The 2021 World Dairy Expo Reserve Supreme Champion Heifer of the Junior Show is the Brown Swiss Pit Crew Formula Tawny, exhibited by Abby Foss, Pit Crew Genetics. And now, the 2021 World Dairy Expo Supreme Champion Heifer of the Junior Show is the Red and White Dorloy K. Guinness Red, exhibited by Kenley Phillips. And now our champion cows of the junior show. The 2021 World Dairy Expo Reserve Supreme Champion of the junior show is the Jersey Home Ridge Tianette, Kylie and Dawson Nichols. And now. The 2021 World Dairy Expo Supreme Champion of the Junior Show is the Red and White Scenic Edge Jordan Red, exhibited by JC and Hadley Ross. How about a big round of applause for these champions at the World Dairy Expo Junior Show? but we're not done yet. It's time to name four more champions. The Supreme Champion Heifer will be presented the W. Terry Howard Memorial Trophy. This Waterford Crystal Award is presented in memory of Terry Howard, who served as a breed superintendent for 21 years and then as overall dairy superintendent for 18 years.
the 2021 World Dairy Expo Reserve Supreme Champion of the Heifer Show is the Jersey Speeds Kid Rock Jaden, exhibited by Vera Farms. It is my honor to announce the 2021 World Dairy Expo Supreme Champion of the Heifer Show. She is the red and white Dorloy K. Guinness Red from Kenley Phillips. Each year, the World Dairy Expo Supreme Champion is presented with the Gregory Blaska Memorial Supreme Champion Trophy. Purchased from Tiffany & Company in New York City, the trophy is in honor and memory of Expo visionary Greg Blaska, who served as president of World Dairy Expo for 32 years. And now, please meet our cow champion, the 2021 World Dairy Expo Reserve Supreme Champion is the Brown Swiss Cutting Edge Thunder Fay, exhibited by Ken Main and Kenny Joe Mannion. And finally, it is my honor to announce the 2021 World Dairy Expo Supreme Champion. And she is the Holstein. <laughs> Urbakers, Snapple Shakira, Firm Jacobs, Tidy Holstein, Thoralls, and Firm Atelling. Congratulations. Congratulations to everyone who participated in the 2021 World Dairy Expo, and a special congratulations to those presenting on the colored shavings this evening. We were filled with joy to have each of you join us again this year, and we hope to see you next year, October 2nd through October 7th, 2022, for the 55th World Dairy Expo as we celebrate essential elements. Until then, thank you, safe travels, and good night.